Lord. Bless, Lord. Bless him, Lord. Because some people just get a little position. A little supervisor position. And they never think that they reach heaven. And they act like they are gods. So those who are under their leadership, they really treat them. Oh, I hear the sound of those preaching. They really all them talk to them. They talk to them as if they are not human beings. Some of them treat them as animal who are better than how they treat the workers. I don't do their supervise. But I rebuke that spirit in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That's not the type of dominion God gave us. We're not supposed to dictate and manipulate and treat your brother the way you feel like saying that they are less than you. None of us is better than the other. It says what it says. The ground is level on the foot of the cross. Jesus died for you. Jesus died for me. He died for the brown. He died for the dark. He died for the white. He died for everybody. So you're not better than me. Lord, help me, Jesus. Help me, Holy Spirit. Somebody that's stopping me. So when I have, when you went to university, I'm not bashing knowledge. And I'm not bashing education because knowledge is power. And if you know how to use knowledge, all of it can bring your wealth. Hello, somebody. You see, you see, you see, some people the cause that get a little exposure. And the exposure gives them position. But some of them are more ignorant than those who have never been to a university.
You rule over fish. And some of you can't swim. Lord Jesus. If some of us going to need water, we throw. But God gave you dominion over those who trouble in deep waters. You know, somebody, God can make me sick and let me out of the fish. So if we destroy, oh Lord, help me, Jesus, let me preach a little bit. If we did destroy our environment, we make a decision to destroy our fishes. Fish, bro. If you allow your garbage, your trash, your plastic bag, and your plastic bottle, you throw it out of the bus, you throw it out of the car, and it finds itself into the sea, you are making a decision to destroy the fish. Neither woman 
Sins of late. Most of the men, they are marrying women who can mind them. And some are married, some are, some are, who they are marrying could be their mother. Because they don't want to help me, they want a mother. Oh, no, she's a broken treasure. They want somebody who's supposed to provide a place to live, a bed to sleep. Think of a drive and sometimes they themselves can't provide the gas to put it on the same thing where they want to drive. And I'm not talking about that. I don't want to say that.
if you are most living, can't talk and let go of your house. You have to roll up your sleeve. You have to get the job done by doing something. You can't be lazy. Go down like lazy people. Jesus in the church.
are you the sheriff of the company? So we need to take a step and make sure that we guide our children in the right path, in the way they should grow. And they will make us proud. And they will be an asset and not a liability. Say in the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. As of this day, I take authority. I take a stand over my family. I pray right now in the name of Jesus Christ that my family will prosper and be in good health even as our soul prosper. I pray, dear Lord, that your will for my life and my family will be done. I pray, Father, give me the wisdom, the knowledge, and the understanding to guide my family in the way they should go. Father, we commit ourselves to you. Let us use our authority that we invest in us and use it in the right way. And do let our, not our authority be abused by the enemy. Stand with me today. Stand with me today. Stand with me today. Hallelujah. Turn to this person beside you. There's a great guy see. That is in you. That is in you. That is in the world. Tell somebody. I'm finished with lunch. Tell somebody, I came to earth lonely. Oh Lord. I'm lonely. I'm coming to Inside of every human being, there is a seed of greatness. Stop letting people determine your future. Stop letting people limit you. Tell, tell yourself, I'm moving the limit of people from my life. <laughs> Let me say this to your church. Your future is not ahead of you. Your future trapped inside of you. Yes, sir. I want to understand. Say, you know what people think of you? It is what God places inside of you. Amen. And only God can allow that to come out and for you to fulfill your purpose in life. Amen. Because you see, sometimes you are looking for your future. But if you look out here, you will not find it. The future is inside of you. But it's what you do with the gift that God places inside of you. Let us come down here. Hallelujah. I say this to you. There are jobs and there are work. A job is what you are trained for. A work is what you are born with. You went, you went to school and they educate you and they train you for your job. And they employ you. And if they feel like you no longer need you, they fire you. But when you are in your work, that which God placed inside of you, that when you are doing it, it brings you joy, it brings you Holy Spirit here, it brings you happiness, then you are fulfilling your purpose on her. Because look here, your job is the gift. Not no rather, your work is the gift that God placed in you. Your job is when somebody employs you. So a man can take away your job, but you can't take away your work.